Chase two. Let go. Yeah, yeah. This is Shades 2, and I'm back again, bringing a brand new haul to all my friends. Been to all types of stores like DT and many, many more. Bringing you all types of deals that only Shay Shay calls substitute. This is Shades 2, and I'm back again. This is Shades 2, and I'm back. Shades 2, and I'm back again. This is Shades 2. And I'm back, all right now. This is Shades 2, and I'm back again. This is Shades 2, and I'm back. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, y'all, for tuning in. This is Shades 2. Yeah. I'm lit, y'all. I'm lit for show. All right now. Yeah, yeah. Shades 2. Hey guys, welcome to Shades Tube. Happy and blessed weekend. I want to show you guys some nice products that I got from Dollar Tree. A couple of things I got from Forever 21, Walmart, and I think that's it, y'all. So let's go ahead and get started with this haul. Grab you something to eat, drink, a relaxing chair. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications, and share this video and leave a comment. And did I forget anything? And hit that bell notifications, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with this video, all right? So anyway, first thing first, let's go ahead and show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree, your favorite store. DT. Oh, that was that that I hit. Okay, so anyway, y'all, I picked up some more of these mini foam mushrooms. Y'all, these are super cute. And guess what? These come in different colors. I think I saw pink and just this blue. I'm not sure if I saw purple. I thought I did, but I'm not sure. But I wanted the blue because, of course, my colors in my place are blue. And it will stay blue even when I move into my home. Blue with another color. I also picked up some mini carrots. These are super, super cute, y'all. I just had to. These are so adorable. So I picked up two bags of these. I picked up two bags of these as well. Then I picked up um, some more of this sanitizer. And this is simply a cute little... Um, cover right here so I picked up two of these I like to keep this in I like to keep this handy inside of my car and in my purse so I picked up two of those all right then I picked up this home sign I don't know if I'm gonna put this out I like the way it looked but it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna put it in my place but I do like it so I picked up two I picked up the welcome one too super super cute and I picked up this wash hands Flush the toilet, close the lid, floss, and brush your teeth sign to put in my son's bathroom when we move. Y'all, I picked up another candle snuffle. If you want to do it elegant, really elegantly, but on a budget, you can go to Dollar Tree and you can pick up things like this. It looks like it costs way more than $1.25. Simply cute. It don't fade or anything else. So for me, it's a thumbs up. They also have this in silver if i'm not mistaken and black because i know i have a silver one and i think i do have a black one i'm not sure but i picked up this color the copper tone one all right and then i picked up some more of these socks i picked up the trizzlers one yeah i think i already got one pair of these anyway but i picked up another pair uh, i don't know if i showed you guys these before because i had them on my bed and i washed them the other day and i was like did i, did I haul these so i'm going to show you guys right now you can buy these for your kids if you want but I actually bought these for myself because I like little socks like this and to make it make them my when I go to work to make that interesting, you know, my socks and stuff. And I picked up the Bugs Bunny one and Daffy Duck. And I picked up this one right here, which is Bugs Bunny again. Simply cute. I picked up these. All right. And I picked up these. All right, so Dollar Tree socks last a while, and they are comfortable. So sometimes I do pick up their socks, including the white ones and the black ones, and they last for a while, and they keep their shape for a while. Okay, I picked these up for myself because my son only wants name brand socks, but occasionally I buy him socks like this and make him wear them. Not like this, but the regular white ones. <laughs> okay, another thing that I picked up is this candle lighter. I got this in blue and red. 
Again, if you want it to look fancy in your place, you can go to Dollar Tree and get some little things that look like you got it from somewhere more expensive. And they do work well. Those are a thumbs up as well. And I picked up some more Wizard um, Carpet and Room Pet Odor Deodorizer to put on your floor. I just sprinkle a very light amount on my carpet because you don't want to mess up your vacuum cleaner. And then I use this just to refresh in the carpet. Like the house we're getting ready to move in, most of them don't even have carpet only in the bedroom. So that's a good thing because that way I only have to worry about, you know, putting that in my bedroom. Then I picked up two of these Great Scents candles. This is the bourbon uh, vanilla scent. This smells pretty good. It's by Great Scents. So if you see this at your Dollar Tree, y'all go ahead and pick this up because this, this does, you know, go out through, it go throughout a small room. So yeah, I picked up two of those. I picked up two of these hydrocodazones by nature plants this is a good product by nature um, plex I, I only use the assured brand in nature plex okay that's it when i buy hydrocodazone and other little things that i'll buy at dollar tree so yeah this definitely does you know help if you have allergic reaction or a rash or something like that or a mosquito bite or something like that then i picked up two of these egg picks in the mic in one of my favorite colors again this matches my color theme in my place it will in my house so that's why i picked up blue i picked up two of these all right and i picked up a little gnome um rabbit i guess simply cute i like stuff like this i was going to put this on my bed but i may just sit it in the living room once i move i have to see because a house is different than, than um than an apartment and so depending on what the house looks like and things like that i'll see if i want to put this in my on my couch all right so now let me show you what i got from walmart so one more thing that I forgot to show you at um, Dollar Tree is this other pair of socks. I forgot about this one, which is little dogs and stuff. Y'all know I like animals, so I picked this up in one of my favorite colors, my ultimate favorite color, which is red. Okay, so yeah, so I got these. I'm going to pre-wash those as well before I wear them. Then at Walmart, guys, Walmart, 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 I got these sensitive ears, um, earrings, surgical steel. These were only, I think these were only $8.00. Was that eight or nine? Eight dollars. So yeah, I picked these up. I'm gonna go buy me a few more too, cause I'm trying to figure out what be making me itching. I mean, itch besides some products that I use. Sometimes certain cheap ass jewelry will make you eat. I mean, itch. So if any of this costume jewelry that I wear does that, you know, I'm gonna have to stop wearing it. So I'm just change out my earrings, the cheap ones, some of them anyway, and see how that goes. My ear never itches though, or my neck when I be wearing cheap shit. But my arms do at times, so that's why I really try not to wear too much um, costume jewelry on my um, wrists. Now, I can wear this little thing right here because I don't really do anything. And those little pla um, plastic little, um, they're not plastic, but those little beady things that I be wearing. So, now something else that I got, y'all, at Walmart are these cute pants right here, these leggings. These are simply cute. This right here is the actual, it's like an extra large. The other pair that I have is in a large. It's the same pair, but I, I went and got another pair because the, um, the large one, fit kind of really really tight and so i wanted to see how the extra large would fit these fit good too but they're just big in the waist so i'm going to take these back um because the waist is too big and it has like a little um sag slag or whatever you call it slag in the um in you know by my legs i'm gonna put it like that so i'm gonna take these back because these are a little bit too big but other than that they fit pretty good i mean i wish i could keep these but i want you know want the leggings to fit all the way around and I guess they're supposed to fit kind of tight, so I need to just go with the, the large one. Anyway, these are $25, super cute. They have a shirt that goes with it, but I'm not going to wear that shirt. I don't want all that Reebok stuff on. I just like these pants because of the design. Y'all yeah, know I like pants like this anyway. And so I'm going to wear a regular pink, a, a pink, this color pink, like a fuchsia color pink. I'm going to wear my shirt with that and team it up with my uh, Michael Kors tennis shoes. That'll be simply cute, and I will wear that, you know, and hopefully have my damn hair done if it's not done then i'll just put it in two ponytails or something and just be looking cute 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 all right so these are simply cute they come they have some blue ones and some black ones i may go back and get the blue ones i may but these are cute i like these and they are only 25 dollars at walmart and like i told y'all from time to time if i see something at walmart that catches my eye i will buy it you know what i'm saying ain't no shame in my game all right, so there you go. Because why go to, um, like my other ones, which I'm going to wear today, they're blue. I got those at Victoria's Secrets. They were like $100, okay? And they basically, um, I'm going to show y'all real quick. Like I was saying, y'all, like these these leggings right here came from Victoria's Secrets. And they are cute. They're comfortable, you know. But these damn leggings right here cost like almost $100. And so I'm not going to go keep on buying leggings like these. Now, these right here are super cute. 
I mean, they really are. I mean, I really love these and they are cute. But still, if I can get these at Walmart for only $25 and some that's similar to these at Walmart for only $25, I, I'm, I'm going to get them. You know, as long as these last, as long as these have been lasting. Now, mind you, I don't wear these all the time. So I don't know if they do last if I was wearing them all the time. But so far, I had these since 2020. Let's see. I think I bought these in 2021 and they're still here, either 2022. I think I bought these in 2021. So they're still, you know, pretty good. And I washed them a few times. I wore these about four or five times. These right here, I wore these about three times. Because one thing about these, if you put any oil on your legs or anything on your thighs, it gets into this. So usually when I put this on, I try not to put anything on my skin so it won't rub off. Because as you see, if you look clearly, you can see some oil in here. So I basically just wear these to work. And then... Like a, a a strange person, I was doing my nails and got this on these pants. Okay, so it won't come off. But it's cool because I just wear these to work with a long shirt. You know, this one right here. I'm wearing this today with a blue shirt So and my little boots. But these are simply cute, y'all. I love these. I can't wait to pair this up with a pink, a fuchsia um, shirt and my Michael Kors tennis shoes. All right, so yeah, that's Walmart, okay? That is Walmart, except these. These are Victoria's Secret, and these are not new. Okay? So, I don't. I shop at all types of stores. I told y'all that before. And then I went to the local, um, not the local, but I went to this jewelry store, y'all. And I know this is cheesy, but... <laughs> y'all, I like this little thing, this little necklace right here. So, I picked it up. I probably won't wear the earrings, but the necklace is super cute to me for costume jewelry. And then, of course, I had to pick up a little gold one okay y'all don't laugh i like little stuff like this you know if i could buy the real one like this i probably would have this you know what i'm saying more than likely because i like bling bling stuff so i would probably have this as well i got a little bling bling you know what i'm saying that's real but nothing like this this is super cute so these are 5.99 a piece i got this at the beauty um it's called in the city that's where i buy my um 100 percent natural um shea butter and i'm gonna tell y'all again Shea butter is a good thing to use. I mean, I mean that. I mean, for a lot of different th reasons. And I used to sell shea butter, like I told you guys before, the natural one, the raw one, straight from Nigeria, but it costs too much to ship it here and we stopped doing it. Um, but anyway, if you got some natural shea butter, if you see that, and I like the creamy one, get that. This is the one that I use right here. Let me show y'all. This is not the creamy one, though. This is the um, solid because they didn't have the creamy. This is what I use, Ashanti Naturals. Okay, so I guess the Ghanaian people made this one right here since they have a tribe called the Ashanti tribe. And so that's this one. And let me show you what it looks like on the inside. If I can, hold on for one second. Let me open it with my other hand. So as you can see, this is the, the solid one. Okay, that's the solid one. But look at that. The solid one is nice, but I smells good too. But I do like the creamy one better. Because the creamy one, I guess I should show y'all what the creamy one looks like. Let me show you. So this is the creamy one, y'all. And you see the creamy one is a little bit different. See, look at that. And I love this stuff. You can use this stuff on your elbows, on your feet. If you got calluses on your feet, this works well for that. If you put this on your toes, right, and you put your, on your feet, put it on your entire feet, and then put some socks on, do this every single day, you know, maybe twice a day. After you get out the shower, before you put on socks and stuff, this stuff right here will make your feet look absolutely great. So if you have this brand of Shea Butter, since I don't sell mine anymore, go ahead and pick it up. Ashanti brand. Okay. It's the natural 100% Shea Butter. And the smell is pretty good. You know, like when you buy raw Shea Butter, it has an unusual smell, but it goes away as soon as you put it on your skin. And it makes your skin so soft. Just make sure you put a little on your skin at first, like on your wrist, the inside of your wrist, to make sure you're not allergic to it. And then if you're not, you wait 24 hours to 48 hours. If you're not allergic to it, go ahead and pick this up. This stuff right here does a wonder for your entire skin, your face. They claim it minimizes um, wrinkles, um, all types of stuff. You can even put it on like around, um, like on mosquito bites to stop the itching. Y'all, when I had the allergic reaction, this is what I was using. Okay. And it actually did better than um, some of the medications that I was putting on. Some of the medications was making me itch more. I put this on 
and it actually heal everything quicker. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you be scratching and stuff, you can um, scratch off some skin. You know, sometimes you can't see that the skin is um, scratched off. You know what I'm saying? But it's there. It's small, little, small, little cuts. But this right here heals everything up and it stops the itching. It does so much. I even rub a little of this in my hair. When I put my hat on, I rub a little of this um, shea butter on my on my actual hair and everything. So, I mean, you can use it over there in Africa, in certain countries in Africa, they use shea butter. I don't know if they use this brand, but they use natural shea butter that comes, you know, that they make off the tree and all that stuff, you know, the, the, um, however they make it. Let me not start lying. I, 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 I used to remember how they make it, but I forgot. Well, they use that and they cook with it. Can you believe that? Now, I don't know if you can do that with this, but, you know, uh, with the 100% for real, for real natural one, like the one I was selling, you can. All right. So that, oh yeah, that creamy one is really a nice texture and it's so soft. Okay. It's beautiful. This one right here is pretty good too, but this is going to be my backup in case I can't find, in case they don't get the other one quick enough. You can melt it a little bit too, but I'm not going to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? But so if you, if you see that, just get it y'all. Cause it works good. It works good. It's a miracle cream. Okay. All right. So yeah, I just showed you guys all of that. Now let me go ahead and show you the stuff that I got from, from forever 21. Wait till you see what I got from there. Y'all are going to be like, wow, that is beautiful. All right. So from Forever 21, y'all, I saw this jacket the day after the half off sale. So I was like, I'm not paying you no know, $45, almost $50 after taxes for this faux leather jacket. So I went home. So uh, two days later, I was like, you know what? I really want that brown jacket. So in between working, okay. I went right into that damn mall and picked up this jacket for $45. Okay, super, super cute, y'all. I like stuff like this. I even got boots like this, okay? I, well, I used to have some like this. I'm going to buy me another pair to match it and stuff. But I like stuff like this. It fits pretty good. I tried to get the large one, but the girl was like, the large is too big. So I ended up getting the, um, the blue one. I, I actually stopped her in the store and asked her because sometimes I'll be doing weird stuff. I'll get something because I like loose fitting clothing a lot of times because some, you know, I, I wear tight ones too, but sometimes the tight clothing get on my nerves. So I like to have on loose fitting clothing. And so I'll buy my jackets a little bit bigger, but this was absolutely in the large. It was absolutely too big. It was all big up in here. The sleeves are too long. And if she wouldn't have told me, I would have bought that jacket, okay? Because I'd be doing weird stuff like that. But anyway, she helped me pick it out, you know, the perfect size, which in my case is medium, okay? But this is a super cute ass jacket. It do look good on me. It does look good on me. I love the zippers. Everything is faux leather. Um, as long as you take care of it, it lasts for a minute. It won't, it won't crack or anything. So now I got a blue one. I got the brown one. Now I need a red one. I got the blue one from... New York and company. So I'm going to see, I, I will see, I mean, if they have a red one and then I'll be all set. I mean, set. And then I have, um, I don't have a black one. I used to have a black one, but I have other black jackets, but I may get a black one too from New York and company. I have to look on our site to see if they have them on sale. Look at the little zippers on the um, sleeve. Super, super cute y'all. So that is my favorite item that I got this past shopping excursion. And then I picked up these little barrettes y'all. Um, if I ever, ever show my hair soon. And I just got this to go with my white, uh, my white, I think it's off white sweater in my boots whenever I wear it before the winter is over. And I will comb my hair that day for sure. And then of course, y'all know I had to pick up another, um, <laughs> costume jewelry necklace i need to stop buying all this cheap shit but i just like this type of little stuff y'all it's like the little girl in me and so you know i picked this up because it's super cute and it has the little thing on it i cannot be buying you know real jewelry like this all the time because it's just going to be too much like i said i got a few pieces of the real jewelry and necklaces and stuff i may go out and buy another one but not anytime soon so until then i'm going to be wearing this costume jewelry at work not when i go out places because it's super, it's simply super cute. And when the shit fades, it's going in a trash can. And just, and that's why I think I buy so many. So when one fade, I'll have another one to wear. And this little necklace was only five ninety nine. All right. I think that's it. Oh, one more thing else that I picked up at Walmart are these little toe gels. I forgot to show you guys this. Let me tell y'all something. I take care of my feet, okay? And I don't be, I don't play around with. A lot of body parts and one of them is my feet because when your feet goes it's over it's much like your heart you know what i'm saying in your lungs your kidneys so you got to take care of all of these things um walking your feet your legs 
if, if that is not taken care of, I mean, it just messes your whole entire body up. So when I went to the podiatrist, he told me I was doing a good job. I wish I would have been doing it when I was younger because um, the little things that I do have going on with my feet wouldn't be here. But he told me I was doing a good job. I don't be feeling on foot pain or anything because I do so many foot um, stretches and exercise and massages. And, and then I go get reflexology, foot massages and stuff. And then I be buying little gadgets for my toes. Like, for example, this little toe gel sleeve. This is good to help prevent um, your, your toes from rubbing against your um, shoes, which cause, uh, what, how you pronounce that? Let me look at the back so I can make sure I see it right which causes uh, friction, all right? I was about to say fiction, friction, okay? And that friction sometimes can make um, um, bunions and calluses and what do you call them, other things, corns and stuff on your toes. So I don't want all that stuff on my feet. So a lot, not every time, but a lot of the time, I will put these on underneath, you know, not underneath, but in on my feet to go inside my shoes. And I also wear... Um, the other little things that you put up your big, like over wherever you may be prone to get a bunion at, I put those over my grand toes, okay, when I wear my shoes. Not all the time, because sometimes you need a break. And then I use these other gel things that I put over my grand toe, my big toe, because my toes, I'm flat-footed, so my toes rub against my shoes. I don't want calluses and stuff all on my, my toes, okay, because that's something that's hard to get rid of, you know, and I should know. And... So I use these little covers that I put. Maybe I'll show you guys. Hold on. So I will put these little things right here. Gel toe caps. They even make the small ones too, but I don't want those on my small. I use these on my small toes. So I'll put these on here. And this prevents this toe, which is the grand toe, if it rubs against your shoes, depending on how your toes are made. Um, not how they're made, but how they are and how if you have flat feet or whatever the case is. Everybody don't have to wear these, but I do because my toes will rub against my shoes and I don't want a callus over here. That's a pain in the butt. And if you don't take care of it, it'd be looking hideous. I take care of my feet, but you get tired of doing certain things. So if you don't want to have to worry about doing certain things, you prevent it from happening. So that's what I put on my big toe. And then these right here are bunion cushions. Uh, if you have bunions, it's good. If you don't have them, if you see them coming, you should probably put these on your, your toes to help stop them from forming. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. All right, because I don't need all that stuff on my dead going feet looking a hot ass mess. And these things don't cost that much. I mean, they're not cheap, 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 but they don't cost that much. You just put them inside your budget like I do. I think these were like five something. These are like five something. Um, I forgot how much these were, but couldn't be no more than five something. And then I also wear these, not necessarily this one right here, but I just got these right now because I have some more, which my podiatrist gave me. Them damn things hurt my feet. I, I, you know what? I'm supposed to be wearing them. I don't even wear these, but, you know, as you see, this is for plant, plantar fasciitis. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, plantar uh, fasciitis. I think I said that right. Um, when you get information of the fascia, that right there. Okay, so this is good for that to give you that support right up in that middle, you know, so it can decrease pain and prevent, you know, that from flaring up. So a lot of times I wear these in my shoes, not all the time. These right here only cost eight, nine dollars at Walmart. But if you if you need to um, if you go to a podiatrist, they will get the fitted one. And some insurances do cover them. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these right here, like these things right here. These are the fitted ones, okay? But um, he gave me some at the podiatrist, but he also made me some to fit my feet. So when I go back to the podiatrist, I'll get those. Now I'm gonna have to lie when I go because I told I, I'm supposed to be wearing these all the times. I mean all the time, but I couldn't figure out how to take the sole thing out of my um, boots. So I didn't put these on yet, but I am going to put them on. So, you know, so I can, when I go back to the podiatrist, I can tell him the truth versus lying. But yeah, all of these things will make your feet be better for you as you age and prevent or decrease the chances of you, you getting, um, you know, foot problems and things like that. Because when your feet start hurting or, um, you know, they start giving you all types of problems, that's not going to be good for you. When it comes to being mobile and things like that, you don't want to be bothered with foot pain and just all this unnecessary stuff. So I believe in, you know, deterring certain things and learning all about my body so I can know what to do because I am aging like everybody is. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I do. I be buying stuff for myself to make everything a much more smoother process. When I That's why y'all need to check out my lives because I be talking about stuff like this on my lives too, you know. So these are some things that I got. 
doing my shopping haul. As you see, I don't just buy clothing and bull crap. I buy all types of stuff. I just don't show you guys everything. I picked up this ring. I don't know if I showed you guys this before, but I did pick up this ring. I forgot where I got it from. Simply cute. Y'all, I'm getting me one like this for real. This is my next goal. This one right here. Okay, I'm going to get one just like this. A real one. This is super, super cute. I wish this ring was real so it won't fade. But I'm going to tell y'all straight up, I am going to get one like this. Even if I have to go to Swarovski's where I got this one and get a crystal one that looks like this. I may even do that. I may just go to Swarovski's, see if they got one like this in crystal because the crystal one will not fade. As you see, I've had this one for the longest. This is crystal, not real diamond. And you should see it. You should see this ring in a light. Okay, you should see this one in a light. Everybody think it's real. So I may go to Swarovski's and get one like this this there and, and and you know and do it like that if i can't afford the diamond one right that like that okay so anyway y'all um i had fun doing the shopping haul you know and i hope you guys enjoyed what you um saw go to your dollar tree and pick up some easter stuff pick up some home things you know the safe home things pick you up pick you up some socks if you like the socks there you know then then skip on over to your forever 21 Check out the little stuff they have for yourself or for your daughters or your sons or whatever the case is. Then skip on over to Walmart. Pick you up some of those um, pants that I just showed you, those leggings. You know, maybe some little toe sleeves if you need it. <laughs> or some gel toe caps or some bunion cushions or whatever you need. You know what I'm saying? Head on out to these stores. You know, get to your jewelry store, your fake jewelry stores, and, and shop your heart out. You know, make yourself happy, y'all. All right? Other than that, guys... Please thumbs up this video. Also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell notifications so you can be notified of any upcoming videos. All right. And share and leave a comment. Y'all, my nails was done at the nail salon. Um, I did not do this. She did all right. I'm going to just tell y'all straight up. She did all right. Um, next time she does my nails, though, she need to get right up in there. Okay. And then she called herself making, making them square. And I don't know what kind of square this is. This is uneven. So when I go back and get them done again, I'm going to tell her to make sure she does everything evenly. And also polish my nails all the way from there. Like when I do them, I could have did this at home and did way better. I just didn't feel like doing it. But she still did okay. From a far distance, you'd be like, ooh, those look good. But you get up close, you can see where she made some flaws at. And I just got them done a couple um, days ago. So again, I think she should have got closer to the nail bed. You know, and then um, made sure she went straight across. And these are my real nails, so I broke this one, so I didn't want her to cut them all short. So this, it, they, my nails grow back quick anyway, so once they grow out, I'll um, have her cut them again. Or probably not in this shape again. I'll probably let them grow back out and then get them back the way I shape them normally. Because I don't know what the heck she called herself doing. Screwing them across. This one right here is okay. But as you see, I don't know, my nails may be growing back already. But I think she made a mistake right there. I really do. Like I said, she was just okay. I think, you know, when I go back, she need to do a better job. Because this nail job right here, this is gel nail stuff, right? And it don't come off. You know, it don't chip or anything all easily. I pay extra for this. And I forgot how much my nails cost all the, together. Um, but they wasn't a basic nail, so... Um, and since these are my real nails, it, it was a little cheaper, but it was like, um, 68 or $70. And that's what I'm talking about. She could have did a little bit better right here. No nicks right there. Um, uh, and make sure she goes straight across to make them square versus what the hell she was doing. Don't even make no sense. And this is the other hand. Don't even make no sense. Yeah, I need to, I'm going to grow my nails back along again. I cut these nails. Yeah, she could have did a better job. I'm going to say that again. But it's okay. But I, I think I could have did better. Okay, but she did all right. And then I got my toes done as well. And like I said, if you ever go get your nails done, get the gel polish because it don't come off. So far, the polish is staying on. I have done so much and it stays on. I don't have to worry about polishing my nails every two days like with OPI fingernail polish. But again, I think she can do a little bit better job. Okay, but anyway, y'all, happy and blessed Valentine's Day, happy and blessed month of February, happy born day to all my February babies. All right, happy and blessed weekend. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Check out my lives Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays at 7 30 Pacific time. Sometimes, but majority of the time, I do my, my lives late at night, like at 10 30 Pacific time. But occasionally, I will do a live earlier, so just go watch the replay. 
or check out one of my earlier lives. And then go check out my shorts and check me out on TikTok at Shades 2. All right. This was a little longer um, haul, y'all. So I enjoyed it. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is Shades 2. Y'all have a good, good, good weekend. Peace out. Let go. Yeah, yeah. This is Shades too, and I'm back again, bringing a brand new haul to all my friends. Been to all types of stores like D, T, and many, many more. Bringing you all types of deals that only Shade Shake calls us still. This is Shades too, and I'm back again. This is Shades too, and I'm back. Shades too, and I'm back again. This is Shades too. And I'm back, all right now. This is Shades 2, and I'm back again. This is Shades 2, and I'm back. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, y'all, for tuning in. This is Shades 2. Yeah. I'm lit, y'all. I'm lit for show. All right now. Yeah, yeah. Shades 2.